Hello everyone, this is a presentation of group 1 in our mathematics performance task. My name is Dayan Moli and I will portray the role of an online tutor or teacher in math named Daniel. Hello, my name is Maria Sofia Denise Maliari and I will portray as one of the students in the role play. My name is Leandro Tan Langit and I will also portray as one of the students in the role play. My name is Plessy Marie Divina Gracia and I am also a student in the role play. My name is Yasha Marie Manalo and I am a student in the role play. My name is Raime Liagas and I am also portraying the role of a student. I am Von Luther Antonio and I am one of the students in the video. My name is Janel Cedric Vicente and I am in the role of a student in this performance task. Hello! I am Michaela Napoles and I am also a student in the video. Good day students! My name is Dayan and I am your tutor for today. In our online class, we will learn new things about math and I am sure that we will end this class with a wider knowledge in our new topic. Good day po teacher! Good day din po sir! Good day din po teacher! May I ask what our lesson will be today in our discussion? Good question, Blessy. I'm sure that our lesson will be fun to learn about. I'm glad to tell students that our lesson will be about ratio. Any insights or ideas, students? Is it a topic that involves comparison? Very good, Denise. Nice thought. Any more ideas, students? I think it has many ways to be written. Very good, to rhyme. So, let me share my presentation with you, students, so that we can understand the lesson clearly. So, in this topic, here are the questions that we need to understand at the end of the discussion. Who wants to volunteer to read the slide? What is ratio? How to use ratios? And how to simplify ratios? So, I will make sure that you will solve the questions and understand the lesson. As your math tutor, I will not only teach you the lesson, but I will also make it easier to solve for all of you to understand. So, Cedric, since your classmates Denise and Rhyme shared their ideas on what a ratio is, can you give us a clear definition of it? I understood that a ratio is a comparison of two, dif two different numbers and can be written in different ways. I also understood that ratio should be expressed in the simplest form. Spectacular insight, students! What you all said was correct and the best way to describe what a ratio is. But the simplest way to remember it is that our goal in ratio is to compare two numbers and write them in the simplest form. Here are the three different ways on how we can express a ratio which is A to B, A to B, or A over B. Teacher, may I ask if we use one out of the three ways, would it still be correct? Yes, Denise, we can express our ratio in any of the three ways and it still would be correct. But remember that ratios are best solved while expressed in fraction form because this allows us to do math in them. So, Leandro, can you please read the example on how we can solve or use the ratio? The ratio of the boys and girls in the classroom is 12 over 11. So, Blessy, what have you noticed in the given fraction, which is 12 over 11? Teacher, I've noticed that it is already in a simplified form. How was it done? Okay, so here's my example on how we can solve ratios. Look on the presentation. So, imagine that Zedric has 12 dogs and 6 cats. Can we simplify the numbers? Yes, I think we can simplify it. Rhyme, can you tell me the greatest common factor of 12 and 6? The greatest common factor of 12 and 6 is 6. Correct. Now we will divide both the numerator and denominator by 6. Mikaela, what is 12 divided by 6? 
It is 2. What about 6 divided by 6, Leandro? 1. So, what is the final simplified form of it? It is 2 over 1. Correct, Denise. I have a question, teacher. How will we know if it is a simplified form already? We will know it if the number can't be reduced to the lowest term, since 2 over 1 is already the simplest form that we can get. Students, do you have any other questions? None na po. Good job, students. So I have another example for you to solve, and I will test if you really understood our lesson. Teacher, will it be like the first example? Yes, Yasha, but it will just be a different set of numbers or examples. So everyone, prepare your math notebooks and copy what I showed on the screen. Blessy, could you please read the question? Mrs. Smith has 27 students present and 9 students are absent. Can we simplify the numbers? Class, pens up and we will see if we can already solve the ratio problem. So in the problem, the given number is 27 and 9. Who can give me the greatest common factor of the two numbers? The GCF of 27 and 9 is 9. So, Blessy, what is the next step that we are going to do? We will divide it like what we did in the first example. Correct, Denise and Blessy. So, if we divide 27 and 9 by the GCF, what will be the answer? 27 divided by 9 is 3 and 9 divided by 9 is 1. Therefore, the answer to the question is 3 over 1. Good job, students! I see that you already learned a lot about what a ratio is, where we use ratios, and how we solve ratios. So, before our class ends, I'll give you the last problem to solve. Denise, please read the problem. Teacher, I've noticed that the given problem is written only in a fraction form. Yes, because other forms of racial questions can also be written in that way. Continue, Denise. Question number 3 is 8 over 24. Class, I'll give you another 5 minutes to solve it. May I ask if it is also solved in the same way as the other two problems? Yes, Blasi. We will use the same problem-solving method used in our first examples. Teacher, I'm done. I'm also done. Me too. I also finished the question. So, Leandro, what is the GCF of 8 and 24? Their GCF is 8. So, Denise, if 8 is the GCF, then what is the outcome if we divided both 8 and 24 by 8? I wrote in my answer that the outcome of dividing both 8 and 24 by 8 results in 1 and 3. So, my final answer is 1 over 3. Correct answer, Denise. Who else got the correct answer? Me too, teacher. I also had a correct answer. It's a bit tricky at first, but now I completely understand how to solve it. So class, that ends our discussion. I am very happy that I've seen all of you have a clear and deeper understanding about ratio. But before we end, can anyone tell me what you have learned or realized while we are in our discussion? I have learned the meaning of ratio and how we solve it. I learned that we can know if it's a ratio if it is already in its simplest form. I learned that the ratio is solved by finding the GCF first then dividing the GCF to the given numbers and we can find the answer, and the result would be the answer. Good job, students. You all gave wonderful answers and participated in our discussion. I would like to end our discussion by telling the importance of ratios. Ratios allow us to measure and express quantities by making them easier to understand. 
Importance of ratio in our everyday lives includes comparing prices per ounce while grocery shopping, calculating the proper amounts for ingredients in recipes, determining how long car trips might take, etc. That's all for today class. I will see you again on our next discussion. God bless everyone. Bye po teacher. Thank you po. Bye po teacher. Thank you po.